For small business owners, having a really great site design is crucial for an effective website that is actually going to get you site traffic, sales, and clients that you deserve. One element that's at the top of the need to nail design checklist is typography. Nearly every component on your website utilizes text, things like headlines, menus, buttons, contact form, and bios, and just so much more have text at the forefront and are a huge part of the user experience. So this is why making the right font choices is really important. In this video, we'll discuss tips for how to perfectly pair your fonts, go through some examples, and show you exactly how to implement your font choices on Squarespace. The fonts that you choose for your website dictate two main things, readability and user engagement. If your website is filled with fonts that are just unpleasant to look at or impossible to read, most visitors are going to click out quickly even if they are interested in what your business has to offer. Alternatively, if your fonts are super clear and attractive, visitors are going to be much more likely to stick around, browse, and engage with your content even if they knew nothing about you from the start. Fonts also play a major role in creating a cohesive brand identity, and they contribute to the overall look and tone of your website. It would sort of feel wrong if all of your marketing materials and social graphics used one set of font pairings, but your website used something totally different. If that were the case, how are people ever going to know which vibe is really true to your brand? Developing a consistent brand personality and then carrying that through your entire website is key to creating those important customer connections. So with all of that being said, how exactly do you make the best possible font choices for your website? Let's go through some of our top font pairing tips. First things first, keep it consistent. Once you choose a font pairing or quote unquote family of fonts that you love, use those same fonts throughout your entire website. Now, I know it can be hard to narrow things down since there are so many beautiful fonts out there, but switching up the look from page to page or from platform to platform like we just talked about can make things look messy and create a confusing brand message. So the big tip here is to pick your fonts and stick to them. Next, when choosing your fonts, you'll want to make sure to keep things readable. Keep in mind who could potentially be looking at your website and think about whether or not your choices are accessible for anyone and everyone who might find themselves browsing. Take a step back and look at your fonts objectively. Are they actually clear and easy to read or do you just like the way that they look? A really good example for this is avoiding the use of fancy cursive fonts for your paragraphs. Even though these types of fonts are beautiful to highlight a few words on your website, a large text block of this font would be nearly impossible to easily read through, meaning that your visitors might just skip past the paragraphs and miss out on the important information. Something like this is really tricky to read clearly and honestly can give somebody a headache. So instead, you could use it to highlight a title and then use a more clear and simple to read text for your paragraph font. Our next tip is to limit the number of fonts used. To make sure that you stay consistent throughout your website, we recommend using a maximum of three fonts for your whole website in order to maintain a clean and cohesive design. Generally, it is best to have at least two with an easy to read through paragraph font and a contrasting heading font, but adding a third into the mix can also help bring your brand personality to life. Our Ventura Squarespace template is the perfect example of utilizing three really great font styles. You'll notice that this template utilizes three different font styles to highlight different information around the site. All of the fonts that are chosen are impactful and clear to read, but you'll notice that the heading font is by far the boldest, which creates a punch and allows people to know what this brand's personality is all about. It also doesn't completely overshadow the other two styles, which creates a good balance and that's important as well. The paragraph font used is simple and understandable, and it's all rounded out by a third style in all caps to highlight the extra details. A font family like this is super easy to put together, and it's also super effective. Next up, you'll want to be sure to create contrast throughout your entire website. Having a visual hierarchy created through font choices is super important for the success of your website. If everything were to be the same style, size, and thickness, it would not only be pretty boring, but it would also be difficult for people to navigate directly to the most important information and the areas of your site that ultimately lead to sales. As far as hierarchy goes, you generally want to have your headings, which are the biggest, most prominent text on the page, your paragraph text, which will be the bulk of your website copy, and this is a smaller, more classic paragraph style that goes underneath your headings. And then a highlight, which is things like subheadings or buttons or other extra details that are used to point out special pieces of information or calls to action. 
And there's lots of different ways to actually achieve this contrast. You can use actual different font styles, or you can use italics and boldness to differentiate important headings and details from the rest of the text on the page. A really great example of this is our Ava Grand Squarespace template, which shows how you can use both font style and italics to create contrast between headings and paragraph text. This template pairs a more artistic display font with a clean sans serif font for paragraphs that makes it really easy to differentiate the content while still keeping things fun and creative. And in addition to that, it also italicizes certain words throughout the website which adds a little bit of flair and helps to highlight keywords and phrases that visitors should pay special attention to. And our final font pairing tip is to consider the mood. So different fonts can evoke different feelings and emotions, and you want to be sure to align the fonts that you're choosing with your existing brand message. A font like this bottom one feels mature and professional, and it might be used by a business dealing with a more serious subject matter. Whereas a font like this one on top feels more playful and casual and might be used by a business that's creative and easygoing. And sometimes if it's appropriate to your brand and your brand message, you can mix the two, which is what our Shelly template showcases beautifully. The main heading font used in this template is bold with sharp edges, and it's paired with a more handwritten style script font. The combination of these two fonts is definitely unique, but it also speaks to the idea that this brand is probably really reputable while also being relaxing and inviting. There's a balance between the two styles. One doesn't completely overshadow the other, and you can understand the personality and vision of this particular business just by looking at those font choices. Now, when you're ready to actually find your own fonts, there are a lot of different ways to find individual fonts and combinations of font families that you can go ahead and use on your own website. To start, you'll want to make sure that you know what kind of style you're looking for. There are thousands of fonts out there in the world, so narrowing down your vibe is going to be super helpful. If you don't already have a brand identity to follow, consider looking up some inspiration on Pinterest or Instagram to get you going. We also have a guide on creating the perfect mood board for your business, so if you want to check that out, it'll be linked in the blog that goes with this video. And when you're ready to start actually browsing for fonts, you can hit the web and check out some of the incredible resources like Google Fonts, which is really great if you need a place to get started. There's also a lot of more premium options like Creative Market and TypeWolf. These are really great if you want something super custom to your website. You can browse fonts of all different styles and of all different price ranges. There really are a ton of different font resources out there, and you really just have to browse and find which one resonates with you and your business the most. And if you need some more help on where to start, we have a bunch of other font resources linked in the blog post that goes along with this video, and that will be linked in the description. So be sure to go and read that and check those out one by one. And let's also not forget that Squarespace itself has an incredible library of built-in fonts for you to browse, and they even offer ready-made font pairings that you can use on your own website if you'd like. This is super helpful if you're having some trouble putting fonts together on your own, or if you just simply need a little bit of inspiration. To access all of Squarespace's preset font packs, go to the paintbrush icon in the top right-hand corner of your website, and then navigate to the Fonts tab. If you click right here where it says fonts, Squarespace is going to give you some recommended font packs just based on the fonts that you've already used and the style that it thinks your website follows. If you wanna choose one of these font packs, feel free. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click the arrow to the right of where it says fonts to access the full fonts panel. At the very top of the fonts panel, you'll find the font pack that your website is currently based off of. If you wanna see more, click on all font packs. And here you can go ahead and search through the dozens of font packs that Squarespace offers. You can click on any pack to see what the fonts look like on your website in real time. And remember that all fonts can be fully customized. So if you don't find a font pack that you love, or if you already know which individual fonts you'd like to use, just choose any of these font packs to get started. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about implementing your font changes and customizations to your website. So back in your fonts panel, you'll find the headings, paragraphs, and button tabs. And this is where you can further customize the fonts in the pack that you've chosen or pick new fonts to start with from scratch. Under each of these three tabs, you'll be able to customize the family of fonts. And this is where you can choose a completely custom font if you'd like, different from the font pack. So if you click here and then click on browse all fonts, you'll be able to search through all of the fonts that Squarespace offers until you find one that you're happy with. The fonts that you choose will also be stored up here in this font style guide, so you'll always know which ones are currently active on your website. 
Next, you can go ahead and customize the weight. And this is going to be the thickness of your font. Some fonts have a lot of different options for weight and some like this only have one. So it just depends on which font family you've chosen. You can customize the style of your font, which is normal or italic. You can change the line height for headings and paragraph, and that's just the space between lines of text. You can change the letter spacing, which is the space between the individual letters in the font. You can customize text transform, which allows you to transform the font to all lowercase, all uppercase, capitalize each of the first letters in every word, or just have it none, normal, and you can control the style. And finally, you can adjust the size for each text element. So there are four heading types, three paragraph types, and three button types. And all of those types generally should have different sizes, which you can control right here. One important thing to know is that making any edits under these headings, paragraphs, and buttons tabs is going to affect all of the elements throughout your entire website. So make sure as you're implementing customizations, you're checking every single section and page of your website to make sure that everything looks good and cohesive. There is, however, an option to make customizations to just a single text element on your website if you need to do that. And to do that, you'll go ahead and click into the Assign Styles tab at the very bottom of your fonts panel. Under this tab, you can scroll through and reassign the style properties of individual elements without it affecting the global styles that you just set previously. This is perfect for special details like your site navigation or for further customizing content like blog posts. You'll just simply scroll through this panel until you find the element that you'd like to customize, and then you'll follow steps similar to what we just talked about to change the style of that individual font. Now, while Squarespace is great and has so much to offer and a lot of different customization options, sometimes you just need something that's a little bit more special and custom. Maybe you've been given specific fonts to use by a brand designer, or you found some on your own that you just can't live without. Not to fear, there is a way to add your own premium fonts into Squarespace. So if you've purchased fonts from a marketplace or downloaded unique fonts from Google Fonts or Adobe Fonts, you can upload them into Squarespace using just a little bit of custom coding. I know the word coding can be a little bit scary, but don't worry. We actually have a blog post that walks you through step-by-step -step exactly how to do that, and that will be linked in the description below, so be sure to go and check that out if you have some custom fonts that you want to add onto your Squarespace website. And there you have it, everything you need to know to make the best font choices possible for your website. Hopefully this guide has made you feel so much more confident about upping your typography game. It really is such an easy way to increase the effectiveness of your website, allowing your business to shine and all of those potential clients and customers to come pouring in. If you enjoyed this walkthrough and you're looking for more, we post new videos and tutorials every single week. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.